Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Corey and today I'm doing a DIY on a B sign and uh, which I'm going to be using. <clears throat> this is from a calendar. It's a farmhouse calendar, farm fresh calendar. And I happen to find this in the calendar. So I'm going to be using this as making a B sign. Okay, but first to begin, I am going to start to paint. So today you will watch me paint this sign. And I'm going to be using white paint by Apple Barrel. I was going to add a piece of um, tape, which was this one here. I was going to add this in the bottom, and then I was going to um, put my sign on top, and then I thought, no, it's going to be too much paper. And I can always use this in another sign I made. dry and while that dries I'm going to be using a, um, a small flower pot okay. and some nautical rope and I'm going to go ahead and start it and I'm going to add some glue here in the bottom and I'm just going to go all the way around Thank you. 
do is I'm going to cut a piece of this a little bit. bit. Well, it does. I'm going to go ahead and um, <clears throat> I'm going to use some stickers also. And um, these are the stickers I'm going to be using. I have some B stickers on here. Some bees on here. And those are the ones I'm going to be putting on to my little beehive. And I'm also going to use these cute little add these to my little beehive too. Which is going to look really cute on there once I get them on there. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these for now. And that way I'm able to glue them on there after. They seem like they're all they're together on, a, on one stem. So I should just go ahead and put my little narco rope on here. And I'm just going to put it around the door. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue.
Gonna put them some like right up here, or maybe I'll set these up up on here. They look cute up there. Where am I? Yeah, I think I'm gonna set these up on here. I think these will look really cute up on top. I cut them a little smaller. How they look up here, glued up here. Yeah, I can just glue them right on top. Add a little bit of glue. And then add the other one on this other end. <coughs> Excuse my voice. I want to see how it looks with the little these stickers on there. And let's see. I'll add this one here. Right next to the door there. That looks so cute. Which other one? This one here. I'm gonna add this one right up on top of here. And then I'll add, let's see. So cute. <laughs> I like the way that looks. And then maybe I'll add more of these little flowers on top. Do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna glue that right up on there. That's how my little beehive looks. I also got this at the 99 cent store. I thought this was cute, a little bumblebee. Which I'm gonna add flowers to it right now too. And then I also found this really cute sign. It says welcome to our garden. And this little sign, I'm gonna use this and put this in my backyard. Uh, my, me and my grandchildren, we had uh, planted uh, some vegetables, so we're going to add this sign to the garden. Which I think is so cute. A little sunflower and the little bee on there. And then I got this really cute little pot. A bee. I got this. It's so cute. But what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to be doing a DIY, how to make a lemon tree. I made one already, which is on Instagram. I did do that one on YouTube. 
but I'm planning to make another one, so I'm gonna end up putting it in this pot here, this really cute pot. And where it gave me the idea to make one is I had gotten this cute little lemon tree, and this was from Dollar General. And that's where I got the idea to make my own lemon tree, in which I get the lemons from uh, Hobby Lobby. So, um, and to try to go back again this weekend or next week and I'm gonna try to go get some more lemons so I can use to make my tree but for the time being I just have this on here on my table and I think that looks really cute with the lemon tree inside of the bee pot that looks really cute but for now I'm gonna go ahead um, I'm gonna glue my starter phone Add a little bit of glue to this and I'm gonna press down on this and make sure this is glues on the really good. And I'm gonna put this like see right in the center. Put that nice and tight. And I went ahead and I cut it these mustard seeds. And then I'm just going to add these to the little pot. This cute little bumblebee pot. And I'm going to put this right in there. And I put this in there. So cute. I think that looks really cute. And of course, if you want, you can add some more greenery in there too to make it be a lot nicer. I'm gonna do that. Here on the side. And I think that looks so adorable. <laughs> I love the way this looks. I'm going to be doing a sign, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my and I'm going to use this on the calendar and I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on here okay. and I'm going to use some tacky glue and now I'm just going to go ahead and glue it around I got these at um, at Walmart, so that's what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use these sunflowers. with the little greenery on it. That looks so cute. That's how my sign looks like. 
but I'm gonna add a little honeycomb on here. On there, I wanna add this on here. did make it now it looks more like a 3d sign <laughs> instead of just being a regular plain sign <laughs> this is really cute oh. okay. and if you like my channel uh, please give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell i hope you guys all have a beautiful wonderful day today and stay positive and i love you guys all and thank you for watching my channel bye till next time bye bye <laughs> okay i decided after all to add um my garland to it so i did <coughs> add a garland and then i did uh mosh posh this on top so that way my stickers my sunflower stickers won't fall off and then <coughs> I also added this rope to it, an uncle rope to hang it up. And uh, and so this is how my sign turned out. And I hope you all enjoyed my video. And thank you for watching.